Johnson of Four Season Tools. We're here at Point Lookout Resort and Conference Center on Coastal Maine. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about hanging a heater. Um, this is a 30 by 48 fixed tie tunnel. Uh, it will be the plant house for this operation. So this is a uh, double layer air inflated plastic. We got this nice Modine heater that just was delivered to us. Um, so we're getting ready to hang it. Uh, first steps: we've got these three eighths inch threaded rods. The purpose of these will be uh, to actually do the hanging of the heater. There are four spots where these will be uh, threaded into the heater itself. We're putting an extra little lock nut on here so that that doesn't move at all. We want to ensure that that's not going to rattle out um, when it's in operation. We've uh, decided to do it on between the first and second hoop on this particular tunnel. Um, it worked well for spacing. Uh, we're going to put the propane tanks right outside this end wall. Um, and it'll be a it'll be a pretty good setup. These um, these square studs here. This I think is in yep yeah, an inch and three quarters. Um, you can see that there's a couple holes drilled drilled here and here. Um, what we've done is we've measured the space between this top threaded, which would be the back threaded rod, and the front threaded rod, and that's the spacing we want between the two holes. When we hang these up, they'll be parallel to the length of the building, and so the spacing between the two, uh, these two pieces of square steel is the distance between the left and the right threaded rods on the heater. You want to make sure that they're nice and vertical so they'll give uh, great support without flexing um, the casing inside that heater. Um, we're going to attach this, and we'll show you this a little later in the video. We're going to attach this to the first collar tie on the second hoop, and then uh, the eight foot header on the on the end wall. Um, so it'll rest the square steel will rest on top of both of those. We will attach using a uh, pipe strap, one and three eighths inch pipe strap, to the uh, collar tie, and then to the header on the end wall. will be uh, each one will be connected with a right angle bracket using self tapping screws. Um, so we're going to hoist this into place, and we'll show you what it looks like. So we finished hanging the heater here in the corner. Um, what we've done is we've spanned the gap between the end wall and the, the second hoops collar tie with this one and three quarter inch uh, square steel. We've made all the measurements uh, between the threaded rods going uh, north and south and east and west. Um, and we've drilled corresponding holes in there and spaced the two uh, pieces of square steel accordingly. Uh, we went ahead and we threaded lock nuts onto the top of the, the threaded rods and brought it to the desired height. Uh, we went with a level going both directions to ensure that it's, it's level all the way around. Um, and then to secure these square studs we used a 1 and 3 eighths inch pipe strap um, along the collar tie and then on the back here you probably can't see it but for each one we have two right angle brackets um, driven into uh, the horizontal stud on the end wall and then onto uh, the one and three quarter inch square steel. Uh, you want to make sure you leave enough space behind the heater so that you can access it if you ever need to do any uh, maintenance work or get those fuel lines set up. We haven't got any of that uh, installed yet so we're leaving ample room for them to access that behind. Um, the other thing you want to make sure is that when you position it in the greenhouse um, you don't want to have it shading out more than it has to. We've put ours on the north side. Um, that way that when the, the low southern sun comes in, it won't be shading out any anything on the shelf. Behind there you've got limited access, which you can use that for storage and whatnot. Um, we decided to keep the, the shelving back behind there. Um, but yeah, what you end up with is a nice 